Hello, you guys. Hope you enjoyed my little morning montage. I love doing those. It kind of reminds me of TikTok. I can really go down a rabbit hole watching those kinds of videos. Today we are vlogging, and before I get too far into things, I want to say a big thanks to Walmart. Walmart is sponsoring today's video. You guys know. I'm a Walmart girly. You can just literally get anything from there and I've been loving using their app lately too and just shopping online. I feel like their app is super user friendly. You can just find anything that you're looking for. I'm gonna share with you guys a little haul really quick. The first thing will be absolute zero surprise to any of you if you watch my videos because I feel like I've been talking about this air fryer for a really long time. Like several months now I've wanted this. I finally got it. They also have this air fryer of like a double version too. So you can cook like maybe meat on one side and veggies on the other side or whatever. But I just decided to go with the single version because I'm like, this could even just sit on, on my counter. It's so stunning. The white, the gold, nothing. Nothing says Abby more than this air fryer, but it also comes in tons of different colors. It comes in black, which I already sent my parents a photo of. They have a black one with a gold handle. They have a bunch of different colors. You guys just have to check them out, but super affordable. Um, I also just bought the liners that are supposed to go in this too. So maybe we'll give this a try later today. See how it goes for us. I have like a toaster oven that says that it air fries on it, but I feel like like it's not the same as a drawer air fryer there's just nothing nothing quite like it just like crisps right up really nicely the second thing that I pulled the trigger on was this beautiful so this is the Drew Barrymore line this beautiful line which by the way, she has tons of stuff. There was like this gorgeous swivel chair where I was like, where can I put that? But she's got a whole line there and they have tons of kitchen gadgets. My crock pot died a few months ago. I definitely have my eye on the crock pot. That's on my list next to get, but maybe in the fall when I start using my crock pot more. This is an ice cream maker. I've never had the desire to get an ice cream maker until I've seen like all these TikToks and reels lately of people making healthy ice cream with all this protein in it. And I'm like, okay, I do need that. I am pretty pumped for this. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that ice cream. I was reading through the directions. It looks like it's super, super easy to use. I have it all like wrapped up here and everything now, but it comes with a little ice cream scoop, this little churny thing. All right, here. but again, the white and the gold, stunning. Something else I randomly got from Walmart were some Crocs. I'm in my garden girl era. You guys know if you've seen any of my videos this summer, she's garden girly and I was like, I need some really cute garden shoes and I saw that Crocs now have like a platform and that Walmart had them online and so I grabbed them, so cute. Joshua actually loves wearing Crocs all the time, so that's how I originally got down that rabbit hole. I picked him up some too. I gotta grab him because he's been wearing them. I got Joshua the, they're kind of like the original ones, but they were a camo one, which I knew he would think were really cool. And ever since the day we got them like a week ago, he's been wearing them every single day. I have too, because nothing beats the comfort of a Croc. There's just nothing like a croc in the summer. Joshua loves them. He just immediately puts them on whenever he gets home from work. These are mine, which I'm obsessed with. I love the bright orange because I feel like it looks really cute for summer and with a tan. It's like, if you're gonna wear crocs, just go bright. Perfect garden shoe, perfect shoe. Just, it's like my house shoe, you know? I'm wearing it all around the house, so super cute. So that's our little Walmart haul. That's everything that I got recently. And I am going to have everything linked down below in the description box. So make sure to check it out. Like I said, get the app too. It makes it super easy to shop online. That's what I always do. And they have really good like delivery, pickup, all that sort of stuff. Even on Joshua's birthday, Joshua's mom doesn't live super close to our house. So it was really nice. She just literally placed a Walmart order and it was at our house a couple hours later, like a gift for him and a cake and all this stuff. So it's really just simple. Even if you're looking to send somebody something, like the delivery is super fast and easy too. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. Make sure to check out the description box and thanks again to Walmart for sponsoring today's video. It is 1223. 
I actually have a hair appointment today. That's why I have the hat on because the hair's not looking too hot right now. Normally I have a hair appointment once a year just to get highlights and then I just let them grow out. So that's what we're doing again today. My friend Leah is going to color my hair. So I'm excited. It's going to be a fun day. I guess we'll call this video kind of like a little glow up video because I'll get my hair done. Maybe I'll put on some new press-ons. I think I'm, I think I'm due. I had my other ones on literally for a month. And then I also want to give you guys a little garden tour today too because the garden is thriving. I'm going to run out right now to my hair appointment and next time you see me, I'll be a whole new woman. I'm back from my hair appointment and I love it. My friend Leah did the best job on my hair. It's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted some new, I basically get highlights once a year <laughs> and I just wanted like some new ones on the top to blend in to what I had. So I love it. Now I thought I would give you guys a little garden tour because the last time I showed you guys the garden, I think everything was really, really small and things have really taken off. So it's really fun to just, to just watch it all come to life <laughs> what are you doing he brings all this big stuffed animals out here and I just let him because look at how happy here it is in all of its glory we've got a lot going on in here as you can see the marigolds have really got a lot bigger too these are sweet potatoes and those are really trailing down the side of the garden box here. I actually planted spinach from seeds randomly through here too. And some of them are just like crisping up and dying. I don't know if spinach is not supposed to get a lot of sun or what. Planted those from seeds so I was pretty happy started coming up recently these are all of my Brussels sprouts so they're just getting huge I there's no actual Brussels sprouts on them yet that I can see except well maybe maybe in here so those are our Brussels sprouts what is happening here wait <gasps> Is this where the Brussels sprouts come out? I don't know how these plants work. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, so the Brussels sprouts, I thought they would just like come on there. Maybe they, maybe they come out of here. Okay, that'll be interesting to see how that all turns out. This, if you guys remember um, the last video where I was sharing with you guys about the garden, I had planted like um, romaine lettuce, like a little, like just like the stub of it after I had bought it at the store, um, if that makes sense. But anyway, I replanted it and then it just started growing again. I have another one over there and the Brussels sprout started taking over. So I don't know if that one's going to survive. But anyway, um, I've got some tomatoes over here and look at this. I mean, we're going to have Roma tomatoes in no time here. Like those are going to be red soon. I also planted more lettuce seeds in here. I don't know if it's too late in the year or not yet, but really would like some more lettuce because <laughs> this side, um, you can see I had lettuce all through here. Look, at, it's literally growing in stalk form now. If you guys are gardeners, please continue to give me your tips because I don't know why it's growing up like that. I think my guess would be because I just kind of like tore pieces off the side um I don't really know let's get that little beetle off um but yeah and then it's like flowering a lot at the top so I don't know I feel like the lettuce is kind of done but I did um I did plant more lettuce down there and it is coming up so that's exciting lots of Roma tomatoes look at we're gonna have tons of Roma tomatoes like look at all through there um this cherry tomato plant situation it is literally just 
It's going crazy, but look at it. Look at that. Okay, Joshua actually told me. He was like, you should ask your followers this. <laughs> okay, this is an heirloom tomato plant. And I don't know what is going on. It's humongous. And we've got tons of tomatoes on it. But some of them are like rotting really bad. I'm like, look at this one. Why is that happening? What did I do wrong? Is it all of them? I mean, not all of them, but a lot of them have that on it. So if anybody knows anything about heirloom tomatoes, give me your tips. Let me know why that's happening. Look at all of these Roma tomatoes though. I mean, we are going to have literally like so many hundreds. <laughs> it's gonna be, we're gonna have to make like salsa or something. Also, more lettuce down there is coming up because again, look at these. They grew really tall. It's just kind of crazy. So if you guys know why that happened, let me know. But peppers are coming in, which is exciting. So yeah, we've got peppers going and then the cucumbers are ginormous. I gave a couple to my sister-in-law. I thought I planted baby cucumbers, but I think these are regular cucumbers because look at how big that one is. Huge. And then this one, I've got to like start plucking these things off because this one is growing into, well, let me see if I can find it. It's growing into the fence hard to show you guys it's with one hand um but yeah it's growing into the fence so I'm gonna have to like cut that off because I couldn't get it out of there but yeah the last video where I was giving you guys garden updates you told me you need a trellis for your cucumbers and we just found this wire fencing like around the house so we threw that up and it worked out great but yeah, we've got so many cucumbers. Ugh, what a, if you have cucumber recipes or something, let me know uh, what you guys are doing with them. But really exciting. That's the little updated garden tour. Josh was working out out there. Bandit's relaxing. Dude's spying on us over here. And it is so humid out today. My hair just keeps poofing out. Um, yeah, he's working out. Sorry, that's kind of loud. But I'm going to get dinner started. And I think I'm going to try to use my new air fryer. So that will be exciting. The lighting's getting kind of bad. And I have the overhead lights on. But I'm going to try the air fryer for the first time with salmon. I also got these little air fryer liners to go in here two that's what my parents always use easy cleanup got our salmon in there and i cut it up into like salmon bites i haven't done that before but i see people do that like on tiktok and stuff so i feel like it's gonna be good we do salmon bowls all the time i feel like i've showed it before so as you guys can tell it's touch screen which is really cool so i'm gonna do air fry i think i'm gonna do just I'm just gonna check on it in like 10 minutes. And then temperature, I think I'm just gonna start at 375, just cause, you know, we'll see how that goes. All right. All right, we'll check on it. Let's see how yummy it is. This is how it turned out. I ended up cooking it longer than the 10 minutes. I think I honestly ended up cooking it for like 20 minutes, but. I don't mind when my salmon is like kind of like crispy like that and sort of burnt. So I think it's gonna be good. We're doing avocado, tomato, rice, some green beans. I also just realized that I could have picked a cucumber today and put cucumber in here as well. But came up with a recipe for myself with the cucumber. All right, it's actually a couple of days later. 
and I want to tell you guys, I am actually obsessed with this air fryer. I used it again last night with sweet potatoes and they turned out perfectly. So I'm obsessed. Everybody needs this air fryer, it's so good. But today I have a bunch of stuff in front of me because we're packing, we're getting ready to go to my parents' cabin for the weekend and I pack up like all the dog stuff, all our stuff, you know, just I got a bunch of junk everywhere, but anyway, I'm starving. I'm gonna eat lunch and I was like, I'm going to cut a cucumber. <laughs> I think I need to cut that one that's growing into the fence. And then I thought I would bring a couple cucumbers like for my parents and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, don't mind my wet hair. I just washed my hair again and I haven't blow dried it. What are you doing, mister? Dude is outside. He doesn't really feel very good today. Oh, there's dude. Just resting. Hi, bud. I feel like sometimes dogs can just sense your energy. It's like we're packing. We're, yeah, see, Josh was out by the barn loading some stuff up. You know, we're not in our usual routine, and the dogs feel that. One more little update I wanted to show you guys. Some of these little cherry tomatoes on here are starting to turn red. I think there's there's one that's there's one that's very red in here. That's probably ready to be that's probably ready to be picked. So maybe I'll pick that and bring it. All right, here's one perfect cucumber that I'll bring. I literally have to go get a knife to cut that other one out. Here's our cucumber. I had to cut it off, but I do have to say it smells really good. So these are the three cucumbers, <laughs> half a cucumber basically, that I got from the garden today. I think they look good. I swear I thought I bought baby cucumbers, but they must not be. Yeah, I guess they just say, I guess they just say cucumber. Just made a little snack. Look at how good this looks. It's cucumber from the garden, of course. Tuna, a little bit of olive oil, mayo, and everything but the bagel seasoning. I'm gonna try it. Guys. This is my first cucumber that I'm eating from my garden. Besides my lettuce, my first vegetable. So good. And the boys, well you probably can't even see them. They're back there in the corner. I had some like rotten tomatoes and a little bit left of a watermelon so I told Joshua just to like throw it in the woods for the animals. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We're gonna pack up, we're gonna head out to my parents' cabin. And I always wanna film when I'm there because they've like remodeled a lot of the stuff and it's really pretty. But every time we go there, I just always like forget to film or like we're just always having so much fun or just like hanging out, relaxing. But I might try to film some stuff or at least share some some on Instagram story so anyway hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching hopefully I don't have everything but the bagel seasoning in my teeth and I will see you guys really soon in my next video